My work has evolved through the years um, with process. I, I think process is, is, the, is, is the main uh, key to, to changes. I'm naming the, the title of this uh, new exhibition, uh, The In Between, because it's, it's the energy in between the shape, it's the energy in between the color, um, because each color has its own shape. I allow for the work to take over when I'm in the studio and, and often tell me what it wants to do. Well, when I was young, I, I have a memory of my mother uh, helping us especially with uh, projects. And one of these projects was to uh, have the freedom go into the mountains, the hills that surrounded the, the house there. We were free to roam. We were free to uh, collect items, rocks and moss and whatever we wanted to, to build terrariums, for instance, uh, boxes or glass jars we could use and build these small environments that uh, were these little creatures, little toads and turtles and whatever we wanted to, to find. And it, it was uh, a memory that I hold this day to be able to create this, these small environments. The current series I'm, I'm working with now is it's a meadow series. This series evolved, has evolved over the last couple of years. I, I began it in uh, 2006, after the death of my father actually. And I, I went into the studio there in Kentucky in, in the old barn, um, wonderful space just the barest of necessities for a studio and I was able to work on this series to, be, to begin this series. The series really began itself. Um, the work sort of flowed through me and uh, the first uh, piece was called Mountain June and it went from there and the, the work uh, consists of large shapes, dance uh, tree shapes that are floating on blue and they're moving upward. I wanted this, this feeling of rising, of uh, moving into the sky, of being uplifted, perhaps from a force from above. Today, the inspiration continues to be the, the uh, outdoors, the, the nature, but, but there's a strong element of, of human relationship within it. I'm very much interested in, in what happens in relationship and I use uh, the plant world in organic form to translate uh, often w what energies uh, are, are possible within a relationship. But I think the difference between my work and, and being a landscape painter or painting birds or I, I don't exactly record nature, I record me. I record what I respond to in nature. You know, my my work was has always had a sexual connotation because of the flowers. I mean, flowers are the are the sexual organs of plants. I, I usually just do pencil drawings and quickly. And they're not they're not tight. They're not steady. They're they're quick. And I think after that process, I begin to paint. I, I usually draw uh, on the paper um, a slight outline and I usually like to begin several at the same time so I, I don't push too far on one piece, which I can do. I think watercolor has always been uh, very accessible to me. I was uh, never trained formally in watercolor. I'm working on watercolor now and on handmade paper. It's a medium that uh, seems to suit what I what I want to say now because it's um, watercolor is, is quite uh, delicate but powerful in its saturation abilities of color. I'm moving back into oils. I've started a, a new series, a, a zigzag series. I hope to finish that in the future months. Well, in November, I'll be showing at a gallery in Washington, D.C., the International Visions. And the name of the show is The In-Between, and it's a series of, of work 
that uh, I've been doing for a couple of years, mostly on paper, the watercolor on paper. And it's uh, depictions of uh, chaos and order, basically. I would notice when I'd walk at the edge of this human-created path was this tangled up wildness that was so um, fascinating for me as I walked there every morning early at dawn. And uh, I didn't realize it at the time, but, but that was what my life was, uh, was this chaos of, of losing parents and changing my life to accommodate uh, the end of their life to be there for them. And this small path that I mowed, I could control that. And I think out of, out of that early morning walk, this slowly uh, grew in me. I, I don't know that I knew it consciously, that that was where this was coming from, but that's the great joy of, of painting to open to, to what is around me and to translate that. And that's really, I think, where this series begins, is from that path.